Welcome to Nordonia High School on a nice cold Tuesday night here in Macedonia, Ohio as we get ready for some Tuesday night basketball between the hometown Nordonia Knights and the visiting Brunswick Blue Devils here at Nordonia High School. Welcome everyone to another edition of Nordonia Hills Boys Varsity Broadcast with myself, Daria Sefna. Should be a fun matchup tonight on a Tuesday night. Let's get started with your starting lineups first for the visiting Blue Devils. They'll have a starting five of Marquise Barnett, Trevor McKee, J.C. Asturi, Trey Massey, and Landon Kistler. For your Nordonia Knights, Coach Dominique Sanders going with a very different starting lineup. Only one of those uh, starters we usually know is actually on the floor right now. Mark, uh, excuse me, for the Knights, starting is John Henderson at point guard, Owen Licht, Logan Jankowski, Cooper Russ, and the lone starter we usually know out there, Robert Watson, out there for the Nordonia Knights, as Watson was unable to hit. And here comes Brunswick on their first possession of the game. Here's a pass inside. The jump shot is good by Trey Massey, able to execute on the bucket, and it gives Brunswick a 2-0 lead here with 6.40 to go in the first quarter. Once again, everyone, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me tonight on another edition of Nordonia Hills Varsity Broadcast. Owen Lick can't hit the jumper. As I mentioned, Owen Lick is tough. He will outplay you every possession, not afraid to shoot those jump shots as the Blue Devils get the rebound. Here it's in the hands of Trevor McKay with Owen Lick guarding him and another nice pass. And Trey Massey has got the first four for Brunswick. 
to Sean Henderson who has it stripped and stolen, but we have a foul called. And head coach, Dominique Sanders, as we mentioned, going in with a completely different starting lineup. Robert Watson, our only starter in there. First substitution already. Joel Jones is checking in. Looks like he's checking in for Cooper Russ. Watson gets inside. His roll is off the mark. Jones, the offensive rebound and put back. Joel Jones has had a rough stretch these last few games, looking to get back on track tonight at home. Here's the drive and the miss by Marquise Barnett as John Henderson pushes the other way. Henderson drives all the way back out to Jankowski. Jankowski with Landon Kistler guarding him. Back out for Owen Licht. Licht finds Jones in the corner, guarded by Massey. Jones on the left wing. Inside for Jankowski. He traveled, shuffled the shoes, and the Knights come in a turnover there. 5.14 to go here in the first quarter. It is Brunswick with a 4-2 lead here at Nordonia High School early on. Here's Trevor McKee. Trevor McKee now is double teamed, finds the open J.C. Asturi. Three by Massey was no good, but Marquise Barnett able to get the offensive rebound and put back. And Cooper Rush setting it, uh, getting ready to check back in for Dominique Sanders. Lick comes off a screen, gets it back out to Jankowski. Joel Jones at the top of the key now, turns it over. But Marquise Barnett fouled Henderson as the two got caught up in the pass. He'll pick up his first personal foul. As we're back in play here at Nordonia High School, Owen Licht brings up the ball with Trevor McKee on him. Here's Cooper Russ who checked back into the game. Jankowski down low, had a terrific game the other night against Cuyahoga Falls, was fouled there. And Logan Jankowski will shoot two. Jankowski, who had a great game, as we mentioned, against Cuyahoga Falls um, the other night last Tuesday. 16 points total for the game. Uh, 10 points at the half in that game. A uh, strong first half, especially. Jankowski goes one for two from the line. The Knights have cut this early deficit in half. It is a 6-3 lead for the visiting Brunswick Blue Devils with 4.17 to go here in the first quarter. Here's J.C. Asturi, finds McKay. McKay back to Trey Massey, who has four of the Devils' six points. Here's a drive inside by Landon Kistler, with a nice kiss off the glass, and lay in. And the Devils have taken an 8-3 lead here with 3.51 to go in the first. Kistler almost came up with a steal, finds Watson, who is blocked by Barnett. Here's McKay, McKay to Massey. Massey drives inside, the little pull-up floater is off the mark, Jones the rebound. Jones pushing the ball, finds Russ in the open for three, off the mark. And here's Kistler. Kistler slows it down a bit, back out to McKay, has licked Guarding him, nice pass inside for Barnett. Barnett backing down Watson. Here's McKay. Luke Jackson and Josh Malone getting ready to check in for the Knights. Here comes Nordonia on another offensive possession. Jones drives on Asturi, who has to kick it back out to Russ. Russ has Barnett on him. And Watson couldn't handle the pass and the Knights another turnover here early on Anthony Lee Luke Jackson and Josh Malone checking in for the Knights they're replacing 
Watson, Litt, and Jankowski. As the lead is still at five. Eight three lead here for Brunswick early on at Nordonia High School. Knights have not been playing as well as Coach Sanders would want them to play at home, dropping their last two home games. Here's a drive inside by Asturi. Now McKay, McKay bumps off Russ, kicks it out. Barnett thought about the three for a sec. Here's Massey. Massey, the speed, the layup, and the block by Joel Jones, but a foul. So Joel Jones is going to pick up his first foul. His contact on the wrist. So Trey Massey was at a strong start to the game. Four of the eight points, now five of nine for Brunswick, is... Good with his first free throw. Two for two from the line for Massey. I think we found our go-to guy tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, last week, our go-to guy, who the Knights just had a ton of uh, who was really struggling to... Um, excuse me, defend against was Trini Henderson who finished the game with 19 points as Joe Jones misses the layup. A story, outlet pass for Kistler. Kistler passes it out to McKay. McKay. Is finds Barnett. Here's Barnett. Excuse me. Sorry for that slight pause as Trey Massey able to cut inside. Still studying the roster a little bit here. It's tough to memorize all these away player names, but you get used to it here and then. After a while, a little bit of practice as the Knights, again, another careless turnover. John Henderson back in for Nordonio. Knights making substitutions at a rapid succession, unlike or, um, unlike Brunswick, who's only made one sub. Or excuse me, they've made, they've made no substitutions, actually, as uh, Malone gets the rebound. Let's see if these guys will get a break at the start of the second corner. We're at the final minute of the first. We'll get you some NBA action and some updates, live updates around the league at the start of the second. Here's Malone with the drive off the mark and Asturi the rebound. 43 seconds remaining. The lead is gone to nine and remains that way as Kistler can't hit the layup. 12-3 lead for Brunswick. Knights want to get a possession here to close out that quarter on a strong note. Here's Henderson. Jones is double teamed. Jones kicks it out. Luke Jackson mishandled it. Here's Henderson. Knights are probably going to look for the final shot here with 17 seconds to go in a nine-point deficit in the first quarter. Henderson with a Suri sizing him up. Here's Malone looking to go to work. Nice backdoor for Lee and me lists the layup, but Malone gets it back and lays it in. So there you go. There was that way to end the quarter strong by the Nordonia Knights. So the Nordonia Knights, not the best half or excuse me, quarter of basketball, but there is still a second quarter to go. Only down seven. Trey, uh, uh, excuse me, yes, Trey Massey, eight of the 12 points in the first quarter for Brunswick, a 12 to five lead for the visiting Blue Devils here at Nordonia High School after the first quarter. Stay tuned, we'll be back for second quarter action here on NordoniaHills.News right after this break. Welcome back, everyone, to Nordonia High School as the Knights begin the second quarter trailing with a 12-3 deficit. 
here against the visiting Brunswick Blue Devils. As nice looking jumper there by Clay McMillan gets his first two points of the game. Hey, let's get you some NBA updates from around the league. We'll get you uh, caught up with some scores from the NBA. The Phoenix Suns are in Atlanta to take on the Hawks. They have an 11-7 lead early on with 8.57 to go in the first quarter. The Brooklyn Nets are hosting the Utah Jazz out at the Barclays Center. Brooklyn, with an early 12-7 lead, have Kyrie Irving back, and that is definitely a huge burden off Spencer Dinwiddie's hands. James Harden and the Houston Rockets are in Memphis to face John ja Morant and the Grizzlies. The New York Knicks, who are 11-29, and 29, one of the worst uh, records in the Eastern Conference, are facing the team with the best record in the NBA, the Milwaukee Bucks at 35-6 and six at Pfizer Forum. Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks will be in o uh, San Francisco to take on the Golden State Warriors tonight. And finally, yes, our hometown Cleveland Cavaliers are in Los Angeles again for their second game at the Staples Center, this time against Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, and the LA Clippers. We'll see if LA's two stars will play tonight. Cavs last night losing to the Lakers. LeBron played. Anthony Davis did not play. Cavs had a strong first quarter, but after that it was it was pretty much all Lakers after that as the Cavs fell to Los Angeles. 128-99 the final score in that one. Meanwhile, we're back here at Nordonia High School where the Knights are down seven and Clay McMillan, who had his first bucket, has his shot rejected. And the Knights want some foul calls. McKay unable to hit the bucket. Here is, and uh, we can have a technical foul assessed. Technical foul is gonna be given to Dominique Sanders. I think he was a little too aggressive on wanting that foul call, but the Knights do have a strong case as there were a few whacks going on in the paint down low. And due to that technical foul, Trey Massey will have the one-shot technical. That should also mean that the Blue Devils will have possession. Or it's a two-shot technical, excuse me. I forgot this isn't the NBA. So Massey is perfect from the line, four for four. 16-7 lead with 6.06 remaining here in the second quarter. Brunswick with a nine point advantage as the Blue Devils have made some substitutions and therefore Brunswick now is Quinton McKinley. We also have RJ Cole uh, and Jordan Dowdo in the game as well as Barnett brings it up for Brunswick. Massey has Jones on him now. Finds in an open corner for a three. RJ Cole. RJ Cole, six feet. Um, he is a guard, senior on the team. And this extends the lead to nine. Brunswick has doubled up on the Nordonia Knights, an 18-9 advantage for the visitors. A quick 30-second timeout. We'll be back to finish off this second quarter from Nordonia High School after this break. Welcome back everyone to Nordonia High School as those substitutes for Brunswick barely got any time. Jordan Dowdell has already been assigned to the bench. However, Quinton McKinley and uh, RJ Cole stay out there for Brunswick. 
Brandon Kistler is back in the game, however. As well as JC Astori. As Malone is able to hit the bucket, and here is McKinley. Back to Massey, the primary ball hander, who traveled. And I, although he did travel, I think we have found Brunswick's go-to guy, Trey Massey, who has continued his strong performance. Ten points, only one foul. Robert Watson going to work against Asturi. Jones back down low for Watson. Kicks it out. Jones fakes, drives. Nice fake inside. That was a great move by Joel Jones. That is the Joel Jones that we've been waiting to see. Had that rough stretch of games for some great individual moves and able to get the bucket for two. And even better, it cuts the lead to five. A, an 18-13 Brunswick lead with four minutes to go here in the second. Massey drills a three. So Trey Massey showing us that range and that gives Brunswick an eight-point advantage. Henderson, back to Jones. Jones wasn't going to lay it off for Henderson. Jones takes it. Can't make it. And we have a foul called. And substitutions are coming in. Logan Jankowski is coming in for Jones. What a nice stint there for Dominique Sanders. I'll tell you, Trey Massey has not had a break yet. He must be tired. Jankowski can't hit the layup. Watson, the tip is no good. Watson is back. And his putback was off the mark, but he will go to the line to reclaim those points. Trevor Mackey's back in the game. Trevor Mackey, a six-foot guard, also a senior this year. Did a lot of, uh, one of the primary ball handlers for this Blue Devil squad. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, the Cleveland Sports Show is back from the holidays. We've uploaded some new episodes for you to listen to. If you haven't been on my Twitter account lately, at Nordonia Sports is my Twitter handle, or you can type in my name, Daria Sefna, D-A-R-A-Y-U-S-S-E-T-H-N-A. We post all our episodes of the Cleveland Sports Show on that Twitter account, or you can find Nord uh, episodes of the Cleveland Sports Show right here on NordoniaHills.News. Just go to the digital uh, journal uh, journalism uh, digital journalism tab and all the episodes will be there for you. I also post on my Twitter account all the episodes of Center Court with Ray Horner on 93.5 FM 1590 AM radio so you can catch all those. Center Court, we dive uh, deep in Cavs ga basketball. Weekly analysis of the Cavs and their games. Obviously they're on a Six-game road trip, which continues tonight in Los Angeles against the Clippers. As Marquise Barnett picks up the foul for Brunswick. And the Blue Devils were in the penalty, so Logan Jankowski is at the line for two shots as the Knights are staring at a seven-point deficit. 21 to 14 is our score. Brunswick with a seven-point lead here at Nordonia High School with 3.07 remaining in the first half. Jankowski is two for two from the line. And it cuts the lead to five, 21-16. Ladies and gentlemen, we just um, made a huge discovery. It seems like it actually is possible 
that Nordonia Knights players can go two for two from the free throw line. After these last few games, I didn't think it was possible anymore. It's just a fluke, but Logan Jankowski has proved us wrong. Here's Kisley, or Kistler, finds McKee, who was unable to hit the shot. Here come the Knights, pushing up the basketball with the crowd behind them. Henderson kicks it out for Jones. Jones finds Watson wide open. Watson has also had a strong performance. Three points for Watson. Strong presence in the paint for Robert. Here's Barnett. Back to Massey. Massey has not had a break yet. Finds McKinley. McKinley gets it back out for Kistler. McKay's jump shots off the mark. 155 remaining here in the second. Jankowski has Henderson who was double teamed for a moment. Back to Jankowski who was stripped and it's stolen. Here's Massey. Massey on the fast break. Last guy you want in that situation but he misses badly. They're playing up and down now. Here's Jones. Jones drives all the way and won. Joel Jones is having a much better performance tonight. He's struggling those last few games, but now really starting to show his athletic talent. He's a terrific all-around athlete and chance to complete the three-point play. And guess what? He can tie the game with this free throw and he's unable to. But Watson commits an offensive foul. Watson's gonna pick up his first personal. The lead is cut to one as the Blue Devils are trying to salvage something and regain some momentum here. McKay loses it. Here's Jones. Joe Jones pulls up. Jones now has Zach Eisen guarding him. Number four just checked in for Brunswick. Zach Eisen, a sophomore, also a guard. Here's Barnett, Marquise Barnett. Finds Eisen with Licht all over him. Licht and Cooper Russ have just checked in. Along with Jordan Massey, he's getting some of his first minutes tonight. But here's Trey Massey. McKay drives, has his floater blocked and rejected. Robert Watson. Kistler all the way, fake stops. Massey, open three, no, short rimmed it. Essay the rebound. And Owen Lick the steal. Owen Lick finds Cooper Russ who's wide open, not anymore. Finds Lick, Lick finds Jones. Jones thought about the three, crossover a couple of times, can't hit. And Massey is gonna be called for an offensive foul. Looked like he pushed down Asen. Massey's gonna pick up his first. Kistler to rebound. Final three seconds here on the clock. McCabe at the buzzer. No. And that will end our first half of play. Brunswick were pulling away, but the Knights able to fight back and cut this lead to one at the half. It is a 21-20 score. The Brunswick Blue Devils with a one-point advantage here at Nordonia High School over the hometown Knights. Third quarter action will resume in a few
few moments here from Nordonia High School. You're listening to Nordonia Hills Boys Varsity Broadcasts with basketball broadcast with Darius Sethna. Thank you so much for joining me tonight, and we will have third quarter action for you coming up. Ladies and gentlemen, your varsity cheerleaders, Saida Adiemi, Marissa Farmer, Maddie Buckles, Abby Kellum, Chloe Chestnut, Maddie Matusik, Emily Miller, Mia Petros, and Caleb Preshap. Coach, fight, win a match. Can't stop, won't stop. When it breaks out, I can't let me bop like kick, 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 when Bucky Frank think my back is gonna be used Cause I swear to lane Make a check, check, make a 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 check, 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 check,
No basket. That's not going to count. That makes no sense. Was he in? Looks like he wasn't in shooting motion. Wasn't in the act of shooting, so Cooper Russ is going to inbound the play instead. That would have been a huge momentum booster for the Knights. Jones gives the Knights the lead. So hey, the possession worked out anyway. Joel Jones continues his terrific night now in double digits for the Knights. The first member of Nordonia to go in the double digit scoring column tonight. And Trey Massey traveled. He can't believe it. And Brunswick losing some momentum now. See if head coach Joe McKay is going to make some subs. Here's Joel Jones. Finds Henderson. Knights now with a 22-21 advantage at home. Henderson for three. No. Asturi couldn't track the rebound down. Here's Jones. Jones drives and misses it. Henderson once again chases down the ball and has a Cooper Russ pass is intercepted by Brunswick. The three-pointer is in and out by Massey. Joel Jones finds Russ in the corner for three. No. Barnett couldn't secure it, but a story can. And Brunswick's going to call a timeout. They've lose, uh, They've been losing some momentum here. 4.53 left to go here in the third quarter. The Knights with their first lead of the game. A 22-21 advantage for Nordonia. With four, about four minutes left to go here in the third quarter. We'll be back here on NordoniaHills.News in a moment. Welcome back everyone to Nordonia High School. 4.53 remaining here in the third quarter. Knights with a 22-21 advantage here at home against the Brunswick Blue Devils. Out there for the Knights right now, Logan Jankowski, Josh Malone's checked in, Joel Jones, who's having a strong night, is in there for the Knights as well. John Henderson and Robert Watson round out that starting five for the Knights. Here is a story. Finds Kistler. And almost turned it over, but McKay able to track it down. Trevor McKay find a story inside and one. Brunswick back up by one and a chance to go up two with a free throw. Astori picks up his first points of the evening. Astori has struggled in this game. Two points and three fouls. Here's Henderson. Henderson finds Jones. Or excuse me, Watson. He gets inside and lays it in. Watson picking up from where he left off. Now with five points in the game. McKay drives all the way inside. Stops. Kicks it back out for Massey. Finds Kistler. Kistler goes inside and can't hit. But... A story comes up with it, and it is Kistler on the offensive glass for that nice from that nice pass from JC A story. Knights almost come in a turnover there. Jones drives inside, had the ball knocked away, back in the hands of Jones. Jones is falling down and he's fouled. Finally fouled. And the Knights will get an inbound play here. Barnett's going to pick up his first personal. Cooper Russ is checking in for Josh Malone. And the Knights are going to call a timeout here with 3.30 remaining in the third quarter. And Brunswick have a one-point advantage.
Pennsylvania High School Knights down by one. It's been a competitive ball game. Knights were up one just a few moments ago, but Brunswick able to execute some offensive uh, possessions down the stretch and now have a 25-24 lead with 3.30 to go here in the third quarter. Here's Robert Watson who finds John Henderson. Knights can take the lead here with a bucket. Jones struggling to find someone. Finally found Russ who found Watson who pushes down Kistler draws the charge and Robert Watson's going to pick up foul number two. So Robert Watson's got to be a little bit careful now picking up that second foul still with a decent amount of time to go here in the third. third uh, 3 12 left here in the third quarter. Kistler had his shot rejected. Here's Henderson. Jones in the corner. Jones, jump shot. Got it. I think that's what the big difference is that we're seeing from Joel Jones. He's starting to take and make those jump shots. Was afraid to do that in the games he struggled in. Now, showing a little bit of everything tonight. Anthony Lee and Clay McMillan are checking in. They're replacing John Henderson and Robert Watson. Here's Lee. You haven't seen a ton of Lee today. Hasn't made a huge presence in the game. Hasn't scored yet either. Joel Jones finds Cooper Russ. Russ drives inside, kicks it back out to Jones. Jones pulls up again and can't hit, goes in and out. Luke Jackson tried to corral in the rebound and was able, unable to do so. It is still a one point game. 2.11 to go here in the third quarter. 26 25 is the score with Brunswick having, um, in control with a one point lead. Here's McKay. McKee drives on at Jackson all the way, no. And the follow is good by Mark, uh, Marquise Barnett. Barnett now with eight points. Jones finds Lee. And McMillan was unable to hit. Jones inside is foul. So Joel Jones with two free throws here can give the Knights a one point lead. Knights down one here, 27 26. Jones can at the free throw. And Zach Edson is back in. He's going to check in for JC Astori. Joel hits the second free throw. Josh Malone coming back in. He'll, he'll check in for Jones. We are tied at 27 with a minute 30 remaining here in the third. It's been a competitive one throughout. Looked like in that after that first quarter, Brunswick would have the momentum. Took an early 12-3 lead, but Knights have stayed in the ball game, have kept it competitive. Kistler off the mark, back up and in. So Landon Kistler with four points on the evening. Here's Lee, who is yet to score for the Knights. And we have a foul called. It's going to be on um, Marquise Barnett again. So it's four fouls on Barnett. And head coach for Brunswick, Joe McKay, senses that and 
It's going to bring Barnett to the bench. Malone to inbound for the Knights as we approach the final 50 seconds of this quarter. The Knights are down 29-27 here at home to the Brunswick Blue Devils. Here's Anthony Lee. Anthony Lee has Ben Gorecki, who just checked in, having his uh, first few minutes of the game. Clay McMillan can't hit the jumper. He, similar shot that he hit in the first half. As I mentioned, Ben Gorecki, uh, senior guard, also checks in, getting his first minutes of the night. A three-pointer is good, and it is not going to count. It hit the top of the, the wiring on the top. So no basket. Joe McKay can't believe it for Brunswick. So Trey Massey's not going to be able to get those three points to go. 13 points for Massey in the game. Final 15 seconds of the third quarter. And the Knights almost turned it over there. It only makes sense just to go for the final shot as Lick's going to check back in. RJ Cole's also going to check in for Brunswick. RJ Cole checks in for Brunswick. Here's Cooper Rust to inbound and finds Lee has Gorecki guarding him. Lee drives inside. Great move by Lee. The right-hand buzzer. The half-court attempt by Massey is no good. And ladies and gentlemen, we've got a basketball game on our hands here at Nordonia High School. Locked at 29, heading into the fourth quarter. Who will gain some fourth quarter momentum and head out of Nordonia High School with a win? We will see. Don't miss out on Nordonia Hills uh, Boys Varsity Basketball Broadcast with myself, Darius Sethna. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. We have fourth quarter action coming up next here on NordoniaHills.News. Stay tuned. Welcome back, everyone, to Nordonia High School as we begin our fourth quarter. Deadlocked at 29 to begin. Let's get you some updates from around the NBA here on NordoniaHills.News. Today is uh, January 14th, and the Phoenix Suns are in Atlanta to take on the Hawks. Atlanta with a 52-45 advantage with 2.32 to go in the first or the second quarter. The Utah Jazz are in Brooklyn and have a 51-45 lead heading into halftime. Um, Brooklyn getting Kyrie Irving back. Huge boost for them. James Harden and the Rockets have an early seven-point lead out in Memphis against the Grizzlies. 31-24 is the score in that game. The New York Knicks are struggling against the Bucks. 21-17 um, deficit out in Milwaukee. Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks are in San Francisco for a matchup against the Golden State Warriors. And last but certainly not least, the Cleveland, the Cleveland Cavaliers, our hometown team, are in L.A. for their second game at the Staples Center against the L.A. Clippers, as I mentioned earlier. Cavs losing last night at the Staples Center to the Lakers. 128-99 final score in that one. Meanwhile, we're back here at Nordonia High School where the Knights have taken a 31-29 lead with 6.47 to go here in the fourth quarter. Anthony Lee tries to extend that lead and gets the bucket, gets the foul, and has a chance for the three-point play as the Knights have a four-point lead here. It should be four, it still says 31. It still says, now it's 33, yes. So, four-point lead right now for the Knights. Anthony Lee looking to make it five. Gorecki picks up his first personal as Lee converts the three-point play. And the Knights with a 34-29 lead, their largest lead of the game. 
Here's McKay. Finds Barnett. Back to Massey. Can't hit the three. Watson the rebound. Back to Anthony Lee, who's had the hot hand. Five points now in the game. Doing a lot of the ball handling now. Has Barnett sizing him up. Lee finds Licht to Malone. Finds Jones. Jones looking to back up McKay. And steal. Barnett has Licht back, and Barnett missed the layup. It was wide open and missed it. Kistler to McKay. A story got the offensive rebound back to McKay. McKay kicks it out. Barnett my, uh, Massey can't hit the three. And Jones holds in the rebound. Joel Jones has had a strong night. Knights might want to go to him to close out this game. Now they have a five point lead with 522 to go. 34 29 Knights here in the fourth quarter. Jones has McKay guarding him. They both dive to the floor. And the Knights, it looks like, are going to call a timeout. Or, yep, Knights will call a full minute timeout. We will be back for more fourth quarter action here on Ardoniahills.news after this short break. Welcome everyone to Nordonia High School. Welcome back as the Knights have gained some early fourth quarter momentum here and have a 34-29 lead on the visiting Brunswick Blue Devils who are leading this game for the most part but have lost some momentum. Great pass, McKay to Massey. That was a terrific pass by McKay. Oh, and Lick is struggling to go across half court. Finds Jones eventually. Jones, and he traveled. Joe Jones traveled. And John Henderson is coming in for Licht as Dominique Sanders bringing in a lot of ball handlers now. Some better free throw shooters to close out this game in the long run. Here's Kistler. Kistler has Watson sizing him up. Kistler still has the ball. Kistler finds Barnett. Barnett finds McKay. McKay finds Kistler. Kistler. Massey, who has been very quiet in this second half. Devils call a timeout and it will be a there will be a timeout a 30 second timeout for um, Br uh, Brunswick we'll be back with fourth quarter action on Ardonia Hills dot news after this short break welcome back everyone in Ardonia High School the Knights have a 34-31 lead here at home with 4.17 remaining in the fourth quarter um, against the visiting Brunswick Blue Devils. And let's see how this game unfolds. We have a close one here at Nordonia High School. Trey Massey has uh, been the go-to guy for Brunswick, but he has been very cold in this fourth, and that continues with a short rim three. Here's Anthony Lee, who's had a strong uh, few uh, minutes here for Dominique Sanders. Malone drives and can't hit the jumper. Here is Massey. Finds Barnett to Kistler to Massey. Trey drives. Lays it in with a foul. So, and and one 
conversion possible here for Trey Massey. Massey now with 17 points. Massey hits the end uh, free throw to complete the end one. Game tied at 34 with 3.30 to go here in the fourth quarter. Doesn't get any better than this. Here's Cooper Russ. Was looking for Watson, finds him. Watson, the floater, is blocked, but you can hear the smack from Kistler. Kistler's going to be pick up his second personal. And Robert Watson can hit these with these free throws can give the Knights a two-point lead. As I mentioned in uh, the halftime stats, the Knights haven't gone to the line as much, but they have been able to convert those free throw attempts when they have gone to the line. Watson's two for two. Knights' better free throw shooting is helping them in this game, and it's helping them down the stretch, which is even more important. Massey has Lee guarding him. Massey is struggling to find someone. He eventually finds a story, a story to McKay in the corner, left side. Here's Kistler on the left side wing, finds Massey, fakes the three, back to Kistler. Kistler's done a lot of ball handling as well for Brunswick. Massey almost lost it. Here's McKay. McKay, great defense from Henderson. The three is off by Massey. Jones finds Henderson again. John Henderson. Finds Robert Watson who had the ball stripped and stolen. Here comes Kistler with Cooper Russ on him and misses the layup. Jones probably gonna take some time off the clock here. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter and a two point lead for the Knights. Henderson was double teamed. Finds Jones wide open to the layup, goes and lays it in. Too easy. Way too easy there for the Knights and it extends the lead to four with a minute 40 remaining. Massey finds McKay. Fires a three, way off. Watson the rebound. And the Knights starting to feel some momentum. And Joel Jones is gonna call a timeout here. 120 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Knights with a 38-34 lead. And the Knights hold on. And get the home victory. Or can Brunswick pull off a late quarterback uh, comeback and stun this Knights, this fired up Knights crowd. We'll see. Uh, and we'll be back after this timeout. Welcome back, everyone, to Nordonia High School. A minute 20 remains on the clock, and the Knights have a four point lead 38 34 over the visiting. Brunswick Blue Devils. Brunswick were in control after the first quarter, but the Knights, with free throw shooting um, improvements as well as just staying in the game with overall hustle, and thanks to this guy also, Joel Jones, who missed the layup, have found themselves up by four. The drive by Kistler. A story finds Massey, who's been the go-to guy. Hits the jumper. It's a two-point game with a minute, a minute remaining. Jones. Finds Watson, Watson's wide open. <laughs> Looked like the Knights were gonna turn that over. Here's a drive in for the layup is good by Mark Marquise Barnett. They're going up and down now. It's a 40 to 38 score. And Barnett can 
And Barnett can cut it to one. And does. 40-39. 45 seconds remain. Jones finds Henderson to Lee. Back to Watson. The Knights might just pass it around here and not go for a shot. Probably want to find a good free throw shooter. Henderson's just dribbling around. Here's Jones. Jones finds Lee. And they fouled Anthony Lee, so he'll go to the line for two. Trevor Mackey's going to pick up his first personal foul. Let's see if I uh, those free throw improvements weren't a hoax. Lee's first free throw is good. So the Knights now with a two-point advantage. Anthony Lee. This to make it a three-point game. Yes. Two clutch free throws from Lee. Brunswick's got to go for a three, probably. And Henderson fouls McKay. And it'll be just an inbounds pass here. Henderson's going to pick up his first or second, excuse me. McKay to inbound, 13.7. Can the Knights hold on? They hold on to the ball. Knights foul, terrible, terrible inbound pass from McKay. He's frustrated with uh, Barnett. He was looking for Barnett and it's never, the two never connected. And Lee, if he goes four for four in this free throw stretch, he will have secured a win for the Knights. Anthony Lee, just with one free throw, he can make it a two possession game. Got it. Knights call a timeout. They'll have one more free throw and they'll have to probably play one more possession of defense. 10.4 remaining with 43-39 Knights lead. It looks like the Knights will be able to pull away if they um, execute the proper um, offensive and defensive sets. Let's see what happens as we will have the final 10 seconds here from Nordonia High School remaining. Um, thank you so much for listening to Nordonia broadcast with myself, Darius Sethna. We'll be back to uh, find out the conclusion of this game. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in a bit. Welcome back to Nordonia High School, the Knights. A four-point lead. With 10.4 remaining here in the fourth quarter. Can the Knights hold on? Anthony Lee can give the Knights uh, their largest lead of the game. This would equal their largest lead of the game at five. Lee's got it. Four for four from the line in this crunch time stretch. Here's... Um, the drive inside and the layup which is off and that should do it that's going to do it the Knights come out and impress the home town crowd with a big time win here at home as the Knights defeat the Brunswick Blue Devils the final score of 44 to 39 the Knights with a fantastic fourth quarter performance down the stretch. They outscore the Blue Devils 15 to 10 in the uh, fourth quarter and have secured the home victory. Don't miss our post game report here on NordoniaHills.news. We, um, we should have that up for you in a few moments here. Thank you so much for listening to our play by play of tonight's game. We'll see you for the post-game show in a bit. Final score here from Nordonia High School. Knights 44, uh, Blue Devils 39. 
Hello everyone, welcome back to Nordonia High School where the Knights have just concluded their game with the Brunswick Blue Devils. 44-39 um, final score in favor of the Knights. The Knights outscore the Blue Devils 15-10 in the fourth quarter after they were um, deadlocked at 29. Joel Jones, arguably his best game of the season. 15 points, um, showed you some of that out... Um, mid-range jumper drove inside in the paint and the Knights overall um, executed on their free throw attempts. Anthony Lee himself um, had zero points at the half but came in um, when the Knights needed him most. Had a four, a four for four from the free throw line in a clutch situation um, in that free throw stretch. Trey Massey of the Brunswick Blue Devils finishes the game with 20 points. Was not executing for um, Brunswick. Not only that, Trey, or excuse me, turnovers hurt the um, Blue Devils towards the end of the game, and the Knights got those free throws out of it. Um, that concludes um, our broadcast for this evening. Thank you so much for um, listening to another basketball broadcast from NordoniaHills.News. I'm Darius Sethna. Once again, thank you. Thanks to Shane for all his awesome work behind the scenes and the camera. We will see you um, next week for another NordoniaHills.News basketball broadcast. Until then, thank you so much for joining me um, this week, and we'll see you um, very soon for another broadcast. Until then, take care.